Hello friends, my name is Real Emil and welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 2 today, continuing on with our Let's Play, this is episode 5, and in today's episode, well, uh, we're going to take a break from doing our usual championship uh, rallying stuff, because we've got a showcase event to do, we've got a barn find to find, and then we've got a party to go to, so we're going to do all of that in today's episode, and this should be a little bit shorter than the normal episodes, but... Uh, you know, I'm sure it'll probably be more fun for most of you because, hey, you get to see the interestingness of this game, right? Uh, if anything, I've learned from playing uh, this game for a while, it's that follow all the dirt paths and they do lead to good stuff. And indeed, well, there we go, there's the barn already. So, let's find out what's in said barn. That's a Renault Alpine A110. And judging by these decals, she used to be a racer. Maybe we'll see her racing again once I've given her a little TLC, right? Okay, cool. Renault Alpine A110. That wasn't really what I was expecting in there, but that's what's in there. Uh, right, well, that was actually pretty quick to do, so I guess we are going to go over and do the showcase event. That that didn't take as much time as I was expecting. I was expecting that to take a while. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I just can't... I've got hiccups apparently, which is great. Anyways, uh, that was not what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to find that that quickly. Uh, this is also what I wasn't expecting. I've got like a brick wall here. Uh, I'm assuming there'll be a way onto this road down here somewhere. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere dee 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 dee. Of course, we're not in a new car for today because I think if I go anywhere near the auto show, it will just warp me into uh, doing some bollocks I don't want to do. So we're just in the last episode's Land Rover. To be fair, we're not going to be driving it all that much anyway. So yeah, all right. Let's sign up to train in vain. Sounds like a angry sort of training tape. I don't know. Weird. Right. So we are going to be racing a train. It's called Train in Vain. What do you expect? Objective, beat the train. No, oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, hey, Lancia Fulvia. Nice. I like the Lancia Fulvia. That's an old train. And this thing keeps adjusting my fucking game volume. Fuck off. There, stay. For fuck's sake. I turned it up during the barn vine thing and it was like moved itself down again. It's like, no, stay there. I want it to record at 31 volume. Record at 31. Don't fucking dip back down to fucking 29. Bollocks. Anyways. So, ooh, actually, this is a. So I never realised this before, this, that Fulvia is actually mildly modified. And by, I assume it's like, I don't know, it's C565. It's got the roll cage and rally lights on it. I'm assuming that's probably it. Like, they're just like, hey, this is a rally car. Let's do the rally thing. I do love this car's, um, oh, God. Um, I thought the, the sort of trail wouldn't do that. Um, I do love this car's dashboard with well, all of the wood. I like wood trim uh, in my cars. I'm assuming this is all probably real wood because Italians, and I'm assuming I'm probably getting a million and one um, sort of. God, what do you call them? What do you call when you're like. Oh, God, the thing that gets like stuck in your fingers and shit. What's it called? I can't even remember. They have like an, it's like a fawn, but you get it from wood. I can't remember what it is right now. I'm going to stop like going on that because people are probably going to be screaming at me in the comments as to what it is. Uh, anyways, unless it's just a fawn, maybe that's what it is. Anyways, uh, so far this train is systematically kicking my ass uh, because, well, oh, never mind. I was going to say, it's systematically kicking my ass, and then apparently it just sort of slows down for uh, a bridge. 
tunnel? Where's it going? I'm assuming it's going over this, right? It's probably what it's doing. Come on, Lancia. It's actually kind of a cool car to drive this one. Uh, front wheel drive. Oh wait, no, it doesn't go over the bridge, it goes underneath there. But yeah, uh, the Fulvia is actually kind of a good car to drive. Uh, it is front wheel drive. I believe this was one of the last successful front wheel drive rally cars, I believe. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why people know the Fulvia. That's one of them, and I believe it's also got like a V4 engine, which is a pretty weird engine to have. It's cool, it sounds great, but it is a weird engine configuration for these days. Right, if I remember rightly, this train starts slowing down kind of dramatically now, because it's sort of trying to get itself stopped from the start line. Indeed, it does. Look at that. Wow. Completely not catch up. Alright, there we go. Did I think this shot in 24-7? Oh, wait, I thought I finished that in uh, 2.47 dead. I was going to say that would have been kind of cool if I did, but I didn't. So, anyways. Uh, so, we do get some credits, which is lovely. We do get some XP, which is lovely. And you may notice, unlike in the original Horizon, you do not get to keep the uh, the showcase cars. You don't get that Fulvia. You have to buy that later on. Which is actually a bit of a shame, because the Fulvia is a very expensive car, from what I remember. For what it is, anyway, it's like a 60,000 credit car, and it's only like a front-wheel drive uh, rally car, so... It's nothing, like, majorly... Whatever. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the showcase events done. There isn't too many of them in this game. There's only about five of them. So there's our Land Rover sort of. Oh, we're road tripping to the festival already. Okay, cool. Let's do that. We've actually got quite a ways to go, especially considering. Oh my God, stop turning the fucking radio on. I think what I might do actually uh, for later episodes is just turn the music volume off. And then do it that way. I, here's the thing. I could probably get away with leaving the Horizon radio stations on. The problem is they're not very good in this game. Like, the music's a bit crap. Like, the original Horizon had really good music. You know, it had Horizon Pulse, which was amazing. It actually got... Horizon Pulse, uh, you know, indie music really isn't my thing. But Horizon Pulse got me into quite a lot of it. Um, you know, at Horizon Pulse, Bass Arena, actually, you know, as much as I don't like drum and bass because, bleh, um, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> bleeding dog, um, anyways, as much as the, oh god, Ponto, <laughs> a beetle throwing a Ponto at me, that was nice, I love being thrown stuff here, anyways, Oh god, the sat nav woman. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I was saying words. Words were coming out of my mouth. And Base Arena actually had some pretty cool stuff. You know, it had a it had a new order, Blue Monday, which I mean, admitted like that's like the only Blue Order song anyone remembers, but it did it did have that, which was nice. Of course, it's nice music. Um, and God, what is it with the AI trying to? chuck cars at me, a Chevelle was trying to chuck an Audi S4 at me then. Um, and also, what else was there? Uh, oh yeah, Horizon Rocks, uh, probably one of the weakest stations in the game actually, uh, just because it wasn't really rock music, had some cool stuff in it though. Uh, it had the Duke Spirit, I do like me a bit of the Duke Spirit, as, admittedly their best song was in Forza 3, but you know, and they had the Hives as well, Hives are pretty cool. You know, it's not mainstream rock music, which, yeah, but, uh, you know, it was all good. Loco Boco. That's an interesting name. This game, though, I mean, Horizon Pulse is kind of cool. Uh, the classical station is fun if you just want to listen to uh, a bit of, sort of, bollocks, or just, like, classical um, background music. You know, classic FM is pretty good. Other than that, though, there really isn't anything majorly exciting in this game, which is a little bit of a shame, but uh, there you go. That, is that supposed to be normal Psycho? Because you haven't... The Rastacaster. I don't even care about his name. The Rastacaster. That is a fantastic name. 
There's, you do get to see some amusing game attacks. Uh, that is one of the cool things about the driver tiles. You do see some uh, some pretty interesting names and so on. They are rather amusing. Anyways, as we're going to peruse into the festival, redlining, of course, because this car has no speed. I'll shift into sixth gear once again. Oh, hey, the Rasta cast to sort of spawn up the road. And that completes the road trip. From here, there's a Lotus Carlton in there, Chevrolet SS, a uh, Punto, and then there's just a Lamborghini LMW2, which is the car I probably should have gone with. Anyways, it tells you some facts about the actual uh, destinations and so on, you don't really care. Uh, and then tells you 12 more championships to unlock the Horizon finale, so there's at least 12 more episodes of this happening. Okay, so it wants us to join a car club. Oh, I actually kind of like that picture of the uh, the Oricon with the uh, Galado Super Gaguerre at the bottom. That's a, that is a cool picture. I believe actually the Galado was a um. Uh, oh, there's a thousand members in that already. I don't know what the forty-five is. So yeah, uh, yeah, I I don't care. I don't want the speed hunters, no. Anyways, I do have a wheel spin, let's do that quickly, and then uh, we'll probably end today's episode off, because there really isn't much more to be getting on with. 14 grand, nothing hugely exciting. So, yeah, that... Ooh, we actually got quite a lot of XP for that. So, yeah, that is it for this particular episode of the Horizon 2 Let's Play. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It has been a little bit of a short episode, but uh, there, there you go, that's what happens sometimes. Anyways, friends, thank you all very much for watching. Mine's been the real Emil, and until next time, a farewell. <laughs>